Hello, Cinema Tech Geeks. Uh, one of the most interesting announcements at the show this year is that uh, DTS has partnered with Cube and now have uh, DCI Solution, which definitely changes the landscape uh, for DTS and is an extremely important announcement. And I'm, ex I'm quite uh, pleased with it. It, it really um, it improves the, the options for us uh, as cinema owners. So I'll let um, Sperling tell us about this. Hi. Well, as James just mentioned, uh, DTS Digital Cinema has partnered uh, with Cube Digital, well, Cube Cinema, um, to create a an SMS, a screen management system, to digital cinema server that has so many features I couldn't even begin to cover them all. Uh, it is meets the DCI specifications. Uh, it's called the DC20. It's manufactured in the United States and has Cube technology, Cube software laid over it. Uh, the media block is secure and FIPS compliant. Um, it's got a CRU unit so you can slide content right into it. It can play 3D content. It can play 3D content, in fact, in 444 to four different screens at the same time. So that means if you want, sorry, four different projectors at the same time. So if you wanted the same content to be played out on four projectors to increase brightness, uh, it's capable of doing that. I don't, I'm not quite sure that anybody will ever do that. <laughs> but uh, it can ingest content from our TMS, from a theater management system. It has uh, some open APIs to do that. Yes, I mean, it's a recent announcement, so I'm still coming up to speed on, uh, I mean, it, on, on, on everything this server will do because literally it's been manufactured over the past four months uh, and, it, and the specs were changing even right up until the show. Uh, in conjunction with that, one of the uh, new products that we have here at the show is the Alexandria Library Management Server. It's a library management server that usually would work in tandem with uh, a theater management system. It is effectively a big, giant hard drive. It comes in various configurations from 8 gigabytes to, I think, 12 or 14 gigabytes, all the way up to 20 gigabytes. Behind this, this uh, front panel, are 24 one gigabyte hard drives. And you know what, I think I said gigabytes, it actually is eight terabytes, 12 or 14 terabytes, or 20 terabytes. So if you have a 30 plex, obviously you'd want the 20 terabyte um, version because you'd need, a, you'd need a lot of storage capacity for all 30 screens. Uh, in this case, uh, if you have a, a five plex, you might only need the eight terabyte version because you don't need to store 30 screens worth of content. Uh, the code name for the, uh, was, was the LM20, and there's been some talk about keeping that as the name. We've been calling it the Alexandria. Um, it was completed uh, in December of last year. Uh, you could put the theater management system software on it. Our theater management system can sit on it or not. Uh, it's got two drives reserved for the system, so if uh, a, one of the storage drives goes, you're not junking the whole system or you're not taking the whole system apart, you can just take that drive out. Um, likewise, if one of the system drives goes, you can take just that one system drive out and, and send it back or replace it. Uh, everything is RAID configurable. There's uh, two RAID arrays inside, so you'll never lose any data. It's always backing itself up. Um, it's, you know, library management servers, there's a lot of mystery behind them, but they're really relatively simple. They're just big, giant hard drives. Over the last several years, DTS Digital Cinema has been working on a theater management system, which when you have more than one digital screen in a complex is quite important because you need to be able to control all the screens from one site. You need to be able to transfer content from one screen to another or from a central storage unit off to the screen uh, management servers. And that's, we've spent several years, a year or two, developing the theater management system. And as you can hear, see here, we're on the status screen. We only have three screens set up presently, one of which is now playing uh, the Fast and Furious trailer. You'd be able to see the schedule. This will import schedules from point of sale systems. You can create playlists. You can import content. You can import keys. You'll know which keys are expiring. This is a full-fledged theater management system.